hi i am back with another flower and uh, i am using 3 by 4 brush i'll pick up a little bit of white and red and load my brush this is a little variation to the um what do you call uh, shell stroke so normally uh, when we do shell stroke uh, we ha we don't like say i'll show you on a rough page okay. the shell stroke is normally done uh, this way starting with an angle and we go on making this lines okay you see i am not moving my brush till down so this makes the difference in the outcome so i am just scrubbing my brush this way and moving along ahead right so in this stroke is different in a sense that i will be coming all the way down and change the look of the petal so it's a kind of shell stroke but we are doing it with a variation as i said before that you play with your brush so this will be a multi-layered flower so i will be making the outer layer first so i need a gap in between so if you are not able to find out like how to uh, leave the gap in between just do one thing take a pencil or a brush any color and just make a round this way so you will automatically have gaps in between to add the other layers now go and um, check out first how i do the stroke i'll start the same way with an angle but i will be very close and i will come all the way down and i'll move in a non-uniform manner because we are not doing a shell stroke here so this is the uh, the shape of the petal you see the lines are very close to each other this is not an exact shell stroke i'm moving my brush in different angles here i went a little bit above here i maintained a little uniformity here i'm just giving it up and down and here i went sideways you understand what i'm telling so here if you don't do the second layer it's fine because you cannot uh, imitate the same thing so it's better you load your brush properly now um, here the same way you have to do go up come down and this way yes see the petals how beautiful they look so this is not the normal shell stroke we are playing around with your uh, with our strokes and at the same time we are maintaining the um, shape of a flower after all we want a flower in the end so try to be uh, keep that in mind and starting from here i'm going up see i'm just scrubbing the brush more compared to how much you scrub in a shell stroke load your brush nicely because here you are now going to do a second time so it's better do it bright and well the first time you can see the difference between the normal shell stroke petals and this petals as i said play with your brush play with your colors and you will really come out with something or the other thing new if there is dry edges you can just touch a little bit of water and i made that petal too big okay it's not going to we will be covering that so this one petal went a, a little bit big it's okay 
it will finally it is going to look beautiful just check stay with me okay. from where you started there and this time the petals will be little bit thinner not at as flat as the uh, outer layer otherwise you will be covering the whole outer layer and it won't look nice now you see the space you got the understanding of uh, um, how to use this space in between and it's good to let the outer layer dry so you don't have this kind of mixing either you can use a uh, hair, dry hair dryer or you can just let it dry for a while goes down this way Okay, so this is done. This time I'll just let this layer to dry. once this is dry I think that this are uh, this um, here I need some correction because I'm not happy with this uh, look so I'll just go and make it bright it's very dull there so I'll, you see it's the, 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 the difference you can see quickly it adds to the brightness you can make the corrections wherever you want once it's dry but try to be like try to imitate the same strokes again okay now the middle layer this should be done with the tip of your brush keep your brush just straight this way don't lay your brush down if you keep your brush straight and work with the tip of your brush you will get that um, thin uh, petals easily without uh, damaging the other petals the petals that are in the background and as I said you can always come and correct that now what I will do with this is I am going to paint a leaf here so I'll do one thing, I'll uh, pick up a little bit of uh, green on the red side, I'm not washing my brush, let it be the same way uh, with the red and white loaded on it and I'll just pick up uh, green on the side and I want to cover this, so what I'll do, I'll start my leaf from here. So ultimately it's going to cover that mistake and it's also going to look natural so it's not a big issue if you make mistakes you can always go and correct that see now does the flower look up normal no it doesn't so i'll come down i'll make one more here so for that i i want this to dry a bit till then what i will do i load my um, a liner brush with the black and I'll make some dots in between this way and also I'll make some dots in the white areas this way You can either do this for the full flower or only for the um, the middlemost layer. I'm going to cover only this layer, not for the full flower. So it's up to you. Also, you can use 
green dots or also you can use 3d liners here dots with that come on this is decorative flower so you can put in all your creativity in this see so the center part is done now i'll cover uh, one more leaf here so i'll load my brush with green and white again and I'll start making the leaf from this part and I'll come down at the same time you don't have to cover up the good part of your flower done so again I'll load uh, my brush and I'll make one leaf this side so that it looks little bit natural and that's it so I hope that you like this tutorial and you'll try this and come comment let me know how did you find this tutorial subscribe and uh, keep watching I'll come up with some new ideas every day. Thank you.